Hello, today I'd like to show you how to draw a periodic table just from by hand and then we'll label that table with the names of the main families on the periodic table. So to start out you want to just draw a line and leave some space below where you choose your line because we'll be using this in a minute. Doesn't matter how long you make it but once you've made that that's going to be our guide for the rest of this. So then you take a look at this line and mentally divide it into thirds. So about there, it does not have to be exact, but choose the right hand third and draw a line up that's the same distance as the bottom third that you sort of estimated there. So now this line and those, that line are the same length, more or less. You wanna make that a box. So complete that as a box. And then in the corner, the very top of that, put a little box on the top who's just sitting there, and that is helium. So we've started our periodic table. All right, now take a look at this box that you've got and divide that about into thirds and figure out how long that is, one third of that. Mentally picture that estimate and start a line going up on the left hand side. Now you're going to want to take the very end and make a line that's as tall as your box on the right hand side and then do the same thing with that third that you just estimated. And then seal that off as a skinny box. So the skinny box should be about as tall as the big box that you had there and it doesn't have to be exact. Then on the top of that one, on the left hand side, sort of mirroring where the helium is, put a little box and that'll be hydrogen. So we've got one third of that is about as, as tall as that one is. Okay, we're gonna keep going with our thirds motif here. Take a look at this line here and mentally estimate that into thirds. And wherever the two thirds line is, draw that across to the big box. So it's like you're connecting these two boxes with a line. We're getting close. So finally, for this top part, you want to draw a line down from the side of hydrogen and down from the side of helium. And then do one more line parallel down that line that you just with helium for there. And there you've got the main families on this top part of the periodic table. Now before we go any further, there's one more section we need to draw beyond or draw down here, at, which is sort of an taking part that what they did was they took part of the real periodic table out and put it down below. You'll get more of that later. But if you take a look at your tall skinny box, however wide that is, make a line that's about the same distance. So from there to there is about the same as from there to there. Then you want to make a long box with that as the basis. And it does not matter how long you make that. All right, final step for that part is to draw a line in the middle. And then we're going to give a couple elements their places there. So this is lanthanum and this is actinium. They're the leaders of those two rows. All right, now let's name the families. So underneath hydrogen, all the way down here, and it's actually starting with lithium, we've got the alkali metals. Alkali means basic, like a really dangerous chemical basic, and those are very important for those. Then next door, because they make alkali compounds. Next door are alkaline earth metals. And as it says, they're both full of metals. Then this box in between is called the transition metals, 
and what it's transitioning to and from, you'll get later, but these are all called the transition metals, so iron and gold and copper are all in there. Then we're going to skip this section here. It gets rather interesting, complicated. Some are metals, some are non-metals, some are what we call metalloids, but we'll get to that later. But to take a look at helium's group, helium is the top of the noble gases. And noble gases are the safest, least reactive elements on the periodic table. Then next door to that, starting with fluorine on down, are the most reactive elements on the periodic table, and those are the halogens. Halogens means salt makers. So they're, they've got chlorine in there, and everybody notes sodium chloride is, is salt. All right, then down here for these sort of neglected families down here. Instead of going down, because the noble gases continue all the way down there, instead of going down, these go across. So La, lanthanum on over, are called the lanthanides. Lanthanides. Some books call them lanthanoids. And then from actinium on over, like uranium is in that group, actinium, it's the actinides. So these are the main families of the periodic table. It's a great way of organizing and saying, uh, being able to identify an element quickly. For example, if you want to say, well, where's chromium on the periodic table? You say, oh, it's just in the transition metals. It's about there. So knowing the names of the families, we'll be looking into their characteristics. Uh, this is a very helpful thing. Thank you.